Let us spread our wings. We are born with wings, but we don't know how to fly. So are you ready to learn to fly with me? Fly for me is freedom. We are all born to experience freedom, but we self sabotage with limitations, beliefs, others expectations and many many more things. If you have seen my logo Insights and Growth, it represents freedom, developing your wings and vision to fly to higher dimension. God has created us with free will, freedom to choose the life you desire. Our life is not set in stone. So even when my client during the tarot reading asked me about their future, I explain to them that the future is up to them to create. I tell them that what I can show you is a probable future based on your current thoughts and belief system. So you are free to choose your life. Ask yourself today, which area of your life do you wish to experience freedom? Take a moment, look within. Ponder over this question, which area of my life I wish to experience freedom? You might come up with many answers like financial freedom, health, emotional freedom, speech freedom and the list can be endless. Let me explain one important area that more and more people are looking for. Most suffer due to their emotions. So today we are going to talk about what is emotional freedom. This video will guide you how to experience emotional freedom. Our emotion is energy in motion. We go through so many emotions throughout our day. We hear some bad news of death of someone at an early age. No matter whether we are connected with them, we know them or we don't know them. We tend to feel sad and disturbed. That's because we are emotional human being. But in some cases, instead of being emotional, we get angry at our loved one. Let us understand the concept of what to do when emotionally disturbed. Simple technique. Learn to respond in emotional situations rather than react with anger. Let us understand this with the help of a story. Consider a situation. You are eating breakfast with your family. Your daughter knocks over a cup of coffee onto your shirt. You get upset and angry and you harshly scold your daughter for knocking the cup over. She breaks down in tears. After scolding her, you turn to your wife and criticize her for placing the cup too close to the edge of the table. A short verbal battle follows. Then you go inside and you change your shirt. Back to the dining table, you find your daughter has been too busy crying to finish breakfast and get ready for the school. She misses the school bus. Your wife must also live immediately for work. So you rush to the car and drive your daughter to the school. Because you were late, you drove fast and you jumped a signal and had to pay traffic fine. You arrived at school. Your daughter runs to the building without saying goodbye. After arriving at the office 30 minutes late, you find you forgot your briefcase. Your day has been started terrible. And as it continues, it seems to get worse and worse. You look forward to going home. But when you arrive home, you find a small wedge in your relationship with your wife and your daughter. Why? Because of how you reacted in the morning. Why did you have a bad day? Think about it. I will give you four options. Option 1. Did the coffee cause it? Option 2. Did your daughter cause it? Option 3. Did the traffic cause it? Or the last option, did you cause it? What do you think? Do you even need an answer for this? You had no control over what happened with the coffee cup. How you reacted in those 5 seconds is what caused your bad day. Your emotional freedom is in your hand. Here is what you could have done and should have happened. The coffee splashes over you. Your daughter is about to cry. But you gently say, It's okay honey, you just need to be more careful the next time. Grabbing a towel, you rush into your room. 
you change into a new shirt and took your briefcase and you come back in time and you look through the window and you see your daughter getting onto the bus so you start waving she turns and she waves at you you and your wife kiss before you both go to work you arrive 5 minutes early cheerful and you greet all the staff your boss also comments on how fresh you look notice the difference two different scenarios both started the same both ended differently why because of how you reacted you really do not have any control over the 10% of what happens the other 90% is determined by your reaction the highest form of freedom then is freedom of being yourself it is the freedom of your fears and your complaint the freedom of what you think you must do or you should do and the freedom to give your life fully live your life fully with emotional freedom it is the freedom to allow yourself to be the person you are want the things you want and do the things you do regardless of who you think you are or what others say remember that in all the moments in your life you can do whatever you want to do the choice is always yours once you realize this you are truly free if you have liked this video then do like comment and subscribe which gives us motivation till we meet next light and fragrance to all of you